Hi, everybody. Lori here. Thanks so much for joining me. Today, I have a fun card to share with you using one of the new stamp sets that just came out in the Mama Elephant June release. This is called Chance of Rain. Great stamp set. Very fitting for June because it's been pretty much 100% 100, 100 chance of rain around these parts. Not good for the baseball players. I'll tell you that much. All the games have been rained out. And okay, so I'm starting with the umbrella, stamping it, and then I'm stamping it off onto some full sticky post-it tape you've been seeing not post it tape post it no you've been seeing me use this a lot i like to use this great for masking and i'm going to mask off all my images because i'm going to add some ink blending anytime i can pull out my mama elephant pigment inks i'm going to pull out my mama elephant pigment inks because they blend you know it you know it's coming next they blend like butter so okay now i'm going to stamp my little girl i'm not sure if it's a little i think it could be a little girl or it could be a little boy it's a little ambiguous but either way i'm ambiguous ambiguous i'm making it a girl i'm just going to decide it's a girl today and uh i'm going to Cut her out as well onto this post-it note. I'm pretty proud of myself because I, I am very efficient with my post-it notes. I'm tucking this cutie patootie little bear. He's like hiding behind her. He's being shy. And then I'll mask him off as well. But what I was saying was, did you notice how efficient I am with my post-it notes? I can fit, I swear, I could fit all my images on a card on one post-it note. Yes, and I'm pretty proud of that if you haven't noticed. <laughs> so now I'm going to start my ink blending. I am using rainwater. You got to use rainwater color if you're using Chance of Rain stamp set. They go together. Now, to add a little darkness on the bottom, I'm using this gorgeous stargazer color. It's a great cobalt kind of navy. It gives you this stormy look, yet it's still really cheerful at the same time. That's the one thing about Mama Elephant images. They're always like cheerful. And um, I like that about them. They make me smile. So once I get this all inked up the way I want it, I just want it kind of more inked in the bottom. And then on the top, I want it to kind of fade, fade out into just the white cardstock. So I, I crave white space. I really love that on a card, but I also like to have bright colors. So I'll remove all my masks and I can begin coloring my cute little images. Now I just grabbed my Copic markers cause that's what I feel really comfortable using. And I sped this up a little bit, but you can see the caps up there if you wanna know what colors. And, uh, but I've seen around town, when I say around town, I mean around in blog land, a lot of fun ways people have been coloring these and they're using their, their Zig clean color markers or they're using their watercolors. And this is a great stamp set to use with watercolors because it's all about rain and the watercolor gives you that great washy look. But anyhow, I chose to use the Copics. Now you could, if you wanted to do some fun accenting to this, you could take out your white gel pen, add some polka dots to the umbrella or to the rain jacket. If you wanna make it look wet, you can add some glossy accents to your umbrella or even like, I thought about doing glossy accent raindrops. There's some cute little raindrop images in the stamp set. You could stamp those and then add a little glossy accent. You have like some textured raindrops. I thought that'd be really fun, but I didn't do it. I just held off and tried to keep it plain. You don't want to overdo it. You got to know when to say when, you know what I mean? If you want to keep it clean and simple. Now that we got everything all colored, I'm going to take my T-square ruler or what's left of the poor little thing. Take my X-Acto blade, my craft knife and cut down about an inch in from the right, and then I'll take my scissors and carefully trim the rest of that off of the umbrella. This is kind of a fun thing to do. I knew when I was stamping this design that my umbrella would be hanging off to the right a little bit. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna cut that off and, and it'll add a little interest. I'll pop this up on my, on my card base and then I'm gonna add a little bit of pattern paper on that right side where I trimmed off. Now, I'm at, first of all, I gotta add my sentiment before I pop everything up. And this is a sentiment that's also from the Chance of Rain stamp set. I'm using my VersaFine Onyx Black, my favorite all-time ink for stamping sentiments. And then to pop it up, I'm using my Fun Foam. I really love to use my Fun Foam lately when I'm pap when I'm papping, when I'm popping, not papping, popping. When I'm popping up an entire panel, I really like to use that fun foam. And now here's my little strip of pattern paper. This is paper tray ink polka dotted pattern paper. 
I've done this before using a strip of washi tape or maybe even just a little ink blending, or you could even just leave it plain white. That would be fun. Or maybe your card base could be a fun, bright color that would accent off of that, pop off of that umbrella. So we're gonna adhere our popped up panel and this card is finished. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.